Uh, now, uh, greetings, greetings, fellow great uh, tens. It's Mr. Tlatra again. Welcome to another video. Look, now what we are doing basically now, we are still looking at our number 13 and we are uh, examining our Eastern K paper, which was the 2019, right? Now, let's see. Now, what is it that you are given here? They say write down the what? Uh, term number four and term number five of the number 13. Now, let's start here. So this is, uh, you're having negative one. You're having negative one. You're having two. You're having five. You're having eight, right? So basically, this is going to be the pattern that you are given. Now, let's understand and try and unlock in terms of what are the differences in here. Now, the difference is here. Let's say you have two. Uh, it's going to be two subtract uh, negative one. This is going to be given by what? By three. And then five subtract two. This is going to be three. And eight subtract five. It's going to be three. Which means you are having a constant of what? Of three. Now, when you are continuing, which means this is going to be eight plus three, which is going to give us what? It's going to give us 11. Uh, I think then after that, this is going to be plus three again, which is going to be 14. So basically these 11 and 14 are going to be the next uh, uh, two terms, or rather it's going to be uh, term uh, number four and then term number five, right? Now let's continue then from there. Uh, now 3.1.2, they say write down the general term of these uh, sequence. Now, how can we write this general term? We start here. Remember, we said whenever we are doing the general sequence, this is where we start. You start here, Tn is equals to A plus into bracket. This is going to be N subtract 1, close bracket D. Then what is going to be the A? The A represent the first. Uh, this is going to be negative 1 plus N subtract 1. And then what is going to be your D? Your D is going to be 3. And now when you do this, this is same as negative one plus what is the other one? This is going to be when you multiply it here and here, what is it that you're going to find? This is going to be plus three N. Uh, the other one is going to be minus what? Minus three. Isn't it so? That is going to be minus three. And therefore, which means your TN that you are going to find here, this is going to be same as three N. Then when you say negative one minus this, this is going to be given by negative four. Right, so basically that is going to be the TN of this particular pattern. Now let's go to three point, uh, three point one point three. Now they say determine the value of the thirty third, the third term of the sequence. This one is very much simple. You come in here, you say, look, for T thirty three, T thirty three is going to be given by three into brackets thirty three, right? Thirty three close brackets minus four, right? And what is going to be the answer for that? Uh, for you to get that, this is going to be given by 95, right? This is going to be 95, isn't it? So because this is going to be 99, 99 subtract 4, then it's 95. Yes. Now let's look at uh, for our 3.1.4. Now, what is it that you are going to do in 3.1.4? Look, they say how many terms are there in the sequence if the last uh, term is what is 100? Uh, 116. Now, basically, now here they want us to calculate what for n. So, when we're calculating for n, so basically they are saying tn here it is equals to 116. Chap, then we'll come back here and substitute what is the general term of this particular sequence. The general term of this particular sequence is given by 3n subtract 4 is going to be equals to 116, right? And now, when we are moving like that, then what is going to be that? Uh, isn't it so? So they said it's going to be close to 116. And when we are moving uh, from this side to the other side, what is it that you're going to find? You're going to say, now look, 3n is going to be given by, uh, this is uh, 3n subtract what? Subtract 4. So this is going to be 3n, 116. Uh, when you say 116, 116, you are subtracting, uh, or rather you are adding the 4. This is going to be 120, right? I think this is going to be 1, 1. Uh, two right or rather one two zero this is going to be 120 and now whenever you are doing that then after that you are going to say now look now what is going to be 120 when you divide it by three 120 divided by three so this is going to be what you divide by three this side you divide by three this side right so they say how many uh, terms are in the sequence if the last term is that now so then uh, now from here, you are going to say, look, now my N is going to be given by what the N is going to be given by foot. How to give? Then you are done with this particular question. Now, I want us to examine 3.2. Uh, now, they say a linear pattern uh, with a constant difference uh, can be represented in this term, right? They say determine the numerical value of X and the numerical value of the third term. Now, this is simple. What is it that you are given here? Let's start here. You are given that this is, let's, try and get another nice color there 
So we are given that this is x plus 3. The second one is what? It's 3x plus 2. And then the other one is 6x subtract 1. Isn't it so? So basically that is going to be uh, your uh, your, your, your term, right? Now we know that they're saying it is given by what? The constant difference. Uh, which means now, what is it that you are going to do? We know that uh, now the constant difference must be the same. So let's start here. So we are going to start here, sub take this side and subtract this side, right? So which means we are going to say, look, 3x, uh, now this is going to be 3x uh, plus 2. Isn't it so? Subtract what is the other one? The other one is x plus what? x plus 3. And then even there, uh, similarly, this other one is going to be given by what? Let's write it this side. This one is going to be same as 6x subtract 1. Subtract what is this other one? is 3x plus what? Plus 2. And now from here, what is it that you're going to get here? This is same as 3x subtract x. This is going to be 2x. And now when you say now plus 2, and then remember this is going to be negative, right? So this is going to be uh, given by negative. So this is going to be given by negative. So this is going to be plus 3 minus that. This is going to be negative 1, right? So it's going to be negative 3 plus 2, which is going to be minus 1. Isn't it so? Then let's look at this side. This side, what is it that you're going to have? This is 6x subtracts 3x. Then this is going to be same as 3x. And then this other side, what you're having, it's negative 1 minus uh, 2. Then what is going to be that? That is going to be minus 3. And one thing that we know, we know that the differences must be equal, right? So which means 2x subtract 1 must be equal to 3x subtract uh, 3, right? Then after that, you are going to solve. And how are we then going to solve this is, remember here, you are having 2x subtract 1 is equal to 3x. And then, now we can simply just take the 2 this side and take the 3 this side. This is going to be same, right? Now, because when you are taking the 2 that side, this is going to be 3x subtract 2x. And this other side is going to be negative 1 plus what? Uh, plus 3. Fine. Then now, when you're moving from that, what is it that you're going to do? This is going to be same as 2, which is going to be equal to our x. So the x that you are given, it is given by 2. Now, are we, are we done with this? They say, and the numerical value of the third term. What will then be the numerical value of the third term? Now that we know that our x uh, is equal to what? Is equal to 2. You are going to simply come here. This is the first, second, and third term. You are going to come here and say, this is 6 into bracket 2 subtract 1. And what is going to be given by that? This is going to be uh, 12. Then 12 subtract that. This is going to be 11. So which means the numerical value for our what? for our third term is going to be given by 11, isn't it so? So basically, this is how we are going to solve all these particular questions. Thank you very much.